Hey y'all, it is almost noon and I'm just like now eating my breakfast. She isn't cute, but she's delicious. <laughs> it's just a little bit of oatmeal with um, one of our last apples from apple picking. Yeah, if you haven't seen that vlog, check it out, went apple picking. I've posted two videos on this channel ever since now this one going up and it's just been so much fun. Should have really put this on something because my arms gonna be tired now. It's just, it's been a lot of fun just like freely shooting whatever and recording whatever I feel like and just talking to you guys about whatever. <laughs> um, and I, I hope you've been enjoying it, but I have felt like, you know, it's a little different from like me just really sitting down and chatting with you guys like this. Like in those videos, sometimes I feel like I'm a, I'm a little far from you guys, like figuratively and literally. So I don't know, there's something a little bit more intimate about, you know what, I'm just, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm not looking down on you, I promise. Hope you don't mind me just like resting my arms on my desk. Um, but yeah, I'm just eating my breakfast now. If thoughts went off in your head like, why is she eating so late? Is she eating enough? It doesn't look like a very big breakfast. I think it's just like so natural for us to have these kind of these kinds of thoughts around like what should be eaten, how much should one eat. Um, and I really fell into, should I say like, a slightly unhealthy eating mindset. My relationship with food and eating wasn't where I, I think it should have been, you know, when I had started out um, getting really into like health and fitness. It's just, it's so confusing. It's so, nutrition is confusing. If you haven't noticed, this is why I don't speak on it often. You know, even on my, my new Instagram account, I don't often share like, recipes or food that I'm eating um, because I think it just leaves so much room for judgment and it can be confusing if you're seeing me eating like things that would be considered naughty right or less nutritious but then also promoting healthier healthier eating and I think what I'm really trying to say is when I had started out with like working out, you know, really working out, lifting weights, I definitely had it in my mind that I just have to eat as much protein as possible. I just need to eat more. I need to eat more, eat more, eat more. If you can imagine, like throughout my life, I've had people tell me I need to eat more, right? And um, it, it can be really frustrating because I knew they were just basing off, basing it off of how I look. So, you know, they would look at me and think like, she's just too skinny. She needs to eat more. She needs, she needs to eat a burger. And I'm not even just talking on social media. Like even to this day, people in my life still comment on my weight. I've gained, I've gained like 20 pounds over the years. So I'm not as tiny as I used to be. But you know, even though I may look healthier now, right? If healthier means like I'm not as scrawny as I used to be. If that's like what you just see, my relationship with food actually wasn't where it should be. It wasn't great for some time um, earlier this year. Like, I would really, I think it's kind of challenging to like not feel like you have to restrict in some way because it's like, oh, if I'm suddenly in this like health and fitness space, I have to eat really clean all the time and I have to, you know, just eat a ton of protein because I'm trying to um, gain, right? I'm trying to gain muscle. So I should really be eating a ton of protein and you know just trying to sort out like what's good and not good like you know for so many years fat eating fat like fat was demonized when actually eating healthy fats is so important like you should get healthy fats in your body i feel better and i real i realize this more and more like it's like i'm constantly reminded of this like i feel better when i do eat more carbs and fats and not to say that i should like always eat that and so much of that like only because i do still try to incorporate um, protein, but it, it can get a little stressful and it wasn't, it wasn't healthy, you know, like I could be eating very healthy food, but my relationship with food wasn't where it should be. And I would actually experience a lot of like bloating. I wouldn't really feel comfortable. It actually like affected my digestion. Basically in the past like couple few months, I really, really tried to just, I guess like incorporate the whole intuitive eating mindset, which is how I used to always eat in the past, except now I'm more aware, more conscious of like what may be more nutritious for me, what may be better, and try to not 
overdo it on the less nutritious food but i still will have some you know if you saw my last video uh, i was gonna say i had a bloody mary the bloody marys are actually one of the like healthier <laughs> alcoholic beverages you could get so that's probably a bad example but yeah with that meal so i did have a salad and grilled chicken right like i tried to balance it out but i also had a lot of chips matt ordered a burger fries and chips I, d I took a bite of that burger i had some fries definitely had a lot of those chips um before these are the things you don't see and i, I want to be like very raw and real with you guys you know like before my 5k run from my previous video i ate a ton of doritos and i was just like oh my gosh i just ate so many chips am i gonna feel okay for this 5k run but i went ahead and just did it and you know what i think having a lot of carbs did fuel me up pretty well actually but because it's like salty i was like parched i was parched a good bit of that run but then after a while it was fine i was like okay just like try to salivate and i'll be fine <laughs> but yeah these are the things you don't see and i, I do want to talk about it it's just i don't know i think it's like i really can go on tangents and go on and on and on but i hope you guys don't mind that especially on this channel because I, I really love talking to you guys um and yeah, th this is the aspect of like health and fitness that I just haven't really talked to you guys about. I haven't been real about and I want to be. Um, but yeah, now that I'm just eating more intuitively, really, if I'm not too hungry, I won't eat much. If I'm really hungry, I'll eat more. Like yesterday morning, um, I've been having breakfast later these days. It's not like I'm intentionally intermittent fasting or anything. I'm, I'm not. I really am just listening to like my hunger cues, I guess. Like if I'm hungry, I'll eat um, if not, I'm not too hungry, I won't eat as much. And that's basically it. You know, like yesterday I had French toast. I was really hungry, so I had more. Today, it's like almost noon. And honestly, I should probably like um, pause for a second to finish this breakfast. Because like once I started making it, I did feel hungry. Um, yeah, there isn't a ton of protein in it. And it's smaller. It's actually less oatmeal than I would typically make for myself. Because before I would just feel like you've got to eat more. You've got to eat more. Eat more, eat more. Otherwise, you're like not going to grow. You're not... Your muscles aren't going to grow and don't worry so much about the fat like yeah if you if you gain weight you're naturally going to gain some body fat too and i think that like freaks people out but I, it's just like mentally it's just been so much healthier and better for me to just eat when i feel like it and allow myself to crave what i want to crave and just yeah one thing that i don't really um like drinking water is a must though. That's not something that I waver on. Do you do you guys feel me on this? Do you have any struggles around what you think you should be eating and what's going to like really help you with your, I guess, fitness goals? Do you ever find that like you can't help but attach a sense of guilt with eating certain things? Like I I didn't like being having those like, you know, thought processes ever. It really bothered me to think that way at all, you know? And it's not that I was constantly thinking that way, but at any time I did, I think it caused some some sort of stress. I really didn't like that. <laughs> um, but now that, like, truly, and this is why I think the mind is so powerful, you know? Like, now that I really just allow myself to eat what I want to eat, and keep my mind like very engaged with creating and enjoying myself and just having fun i feel so good now i feel so good and yeah i'm still working out and in fact and i've like alluded or you know mentioned this on my instagram account i've talked about it a few times is that like i've pretty much told myself like maybe just just slow it down a little bit and by slowing it down, meaning like instead of four to five strength training days, let's let's do three full body days. And that's what I've been doing um, so that I'm not constantly feeling either pressed for time. I'm able to allow myself the flexibility to do diff different things, you know, to not just be physically active and engaged, but also mentally active and engaged. And I, I just think that's just as important. And I know I keep harping on that, but... It, I just see a difference, you know, I'm not constantly feeling bloated lately, my digestion's better, I just generally feel happier. You know what one thing one of my friends said to me, maybe a few weeks ago, that actually like, almost like got me choked up, like, 
you know, she was like, oh, you're creating, you're like creating YouTube videos again. You're creating content again. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I am. I, I kind of have been, but I'm, yeah, I'm really trying to like pick it up more lately and just have fun with it, you know? And she said, she said, you must be in a good place to be like putting out content again. Like she said something along those lines. And I was just like, oh my God, she's right. Like, I didn't even think about it like that at all. Um, even just sitting here and talking to you guys now, like, I think my head was just always like worrying or stressing about, well, okay, you know, I take that back. I'm not a huge worrier, but I have been so like intense on just trying to improve myself, you know, um, in different ways that like, I was, I've been in like my own bubble. I've been in my own world. Um, but I really, I want to be there for people too. You know, like I think when you are in a good mental space, that's the best place to be so that you can serve others and be like the best version of yourself for others. I, that's just, that's the place I always want to be in. And that's a big reason as to why I've tried to like transform, not, not necessarily just like who I am, but my life, you know, my outlook on life the way that I see things, just be able to gain like different and new perspectives. I just want to be the best version of myself possible. And that's why I love the fitness space. Here, here's me going on a tangent, but I recently, I think I mentioned to you guys, yeah, I did. And in, in the vlog before this last one, you know, we were watching the show alone. So basically you have like a ton of contestants just like left to their own devices in some like crazy area like Patagonia or somewhere in Vancouver, like out in the woods, just having to fend for themselves. A big part of that show is focused around surviving, right? So they do hunt animals. Um, and that was really hard for me to watch, especially at first. But if you think about it, like if you think back way in the day, how did people survive? They had to, they had to, they had to be able to feed themselves. And there's this one episode and I don't really want to spoil it. So um, I'll just leave like a spoiler mark here if you want to like mute me real fast and like scroll past. <laughs> One of these guys, he hunted this huge moose, a huge moose. But then what happened was he had to like hide the fat that he basically uh, dissected from the, the carcass, the moose. He had to like try to hide the fat. So he built like this like like this, like, what would you call it? I want to call it a table, but it's basically like this huge platform. We'll call it a platform. He, he, he built this like platform to hide like the fat up there because fat is essential. And of course there was one day, and I, I know I'm kind of cracking about, about this and I might be telling the story wrong, but, but you'll get the idea. Basically, like he had left a ladder um, leaning against that platform by, like by accident one night so some sort of animal like climbed up the ladder it might have been a it might have been a wolverine the show is crazy some of these like some of the seasons are so good i it's just so good but i, I think it was like a wolverine like they climbed up the ladder onto the platform and stole the fat but he still had all this meat right he still had a lot of moose meat so he's he was like basically saying like it's crazy to think like i have all of this moose meat but i might starve to death because i don't have any fat it just, it just makes you think. It's like, we want to eat a balanced diet, but I think it's really easy to get so caught up in like what exactly that means. And it can affect you. Like it, it's affected me, but yeah. So I, I guess I'm a big fan of intuitive eating. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I need to finish my breakfast. Let me finish this and um, we'll, we'll chat with you some more in a little bit. I actually just, I'm gonna go do some cleaning. I do have more that I need to do for work. The morning was a little bit busy trying to get some work done, but yeah, we had the dogs here um, over the weekend. And so I am itching to clean this place and didn't even get a chance to go grocery shopping. So I just like wanna get my life back in order, you know? <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna end it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this chat. If you guys like this more, let me know, you know, like I'm still trying to sort out the type of content I want to continue shooting and whichever kinds of content that you guys enjoy more, or if you like a little bit of everything, just let me know because uh, I'll continue shooting.
but I'm really glad I was able to chat with you guys about this today. I, I'd really love to hear from you. So let me know, let me know any thoughts that you have down below and subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.